Hi everyone. Today we're going to be drawing a beautiful Aesop's Fable tale. We're going to be drawing the hare and the tortoise. I love drawing from fairy tales and different fables. Um, it's really good practice for drawing animals and the skills I'm going to give you to, in today's drawing class you can apply to drawing any animal. It's all about the construction in the beginning. Um, here we go. Have fun. Okay, to begin our hair we're going to draw some construction circles. First I'm going to draw a little circle. Just here for his head. And then I'm going to draw another circle here for his snout. I'm going to draw some lines that come up. We're going to create our rabbit our hair, sorry. Yeah. Bad habit of mine calling them a rabbit. And I'm going to then make a neck. And over here I'm going to create a large oval. Now the oval's going to be for his body. So, so we need to keep that shape going really well. We're going to create a hip out here. That's a circle. And where the shoulder is here I'm going to create a sausage. Small wrist. Another ball for his feet. This this particular arm leg behind him, we're going to make it look like he's tuck tuck it under so it looks like he's moving. Now the best thing about when you're drawing a hair is to remember to create um, a wider pool on both the foot and the other thing. We're going to draw the leg behind. Now the leg behind just comes up, tuck it up, and this one's going to come up and just peek out the back. Use this section here to create our tail. So there's the construction. Let's now work on getting that hair to look more like an animal rather than a whole bunch of balls. So we're going to go in. I'm going to create the little nose. I'm going to draw a circle right in the middle here. Quite big. And another one. Just get that one right. One. We're going to put a little highlight there. See, I'm drawing much darker this time because I know I've virtually got all the sections that I need. Ah, bring that one down. Rub out the lines we don't want. Notice if I make a mistake, I don't rub out straight away. Make a lovely chubby cheek on our hair. And we're going to just bring this up and over to create an eyebrow. So I've cut that bit of the circle off. Coming in, making a neck. You make his little body. I'm not going to worry about that neck, we'll rub that out later. I'm going to come in with his arm now, go over that shape, correct it if I need to correct it, break a little knuckle, and then I'll do his little toes. Pull that out, come back in. He's starting to look a little bit cute now, isn't he? So I'm going to add, carefully add a large circle around his eyes to, so it really looks like they're popping out. Some little bit of an eyebrow. Some sweet lashes. I'll give him some whiskers. And some. Quite happy with that. Now I'm just going to come down. I'll turn this into his other leg. I'll bring that around so we can just see a little bit of it with his tummy in behind. We'll finish drawing this arm. Bring that one up. that nice shape happening. Now we're going to come in for his under his ear just a bit so we can show everyone he's got a nice round bottom. And the rump of his leg.
in the gorgeous little fluffy tail that sort of sticks up and comes down. Now the next thing is to rub out all the lines we don't want. So we're going to rub out all our construction lines so we have just a really nice clean image ready to paint when we get to that part of our lesson. There's our hair ready to go. Okay, so we want our tortoise poking out a little bit at, at the front because he's obviously winning the race. So we're going to start off with the same construction circles. The neck and a circle for his head. A semicircle, the curved bottom for his arm shell. And just some little, I'm going to overlap that to make his legs look like they're moving in separate directions and the turtle's running, tortoise, sorry, is running. And that little bit for his snout. As you can see, that's the beginning of the construction of the tortoise. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate on his nose and give him a little pointy mouth and a much darker line, a little interesting lip and a curved shape. Put that in even a little bit more so I can actually put an eye there. Let's start with a circle, a little nose. So let's, let's just build that up there and let's rub that out here. Another little eye. By using a little bit of a curl up, it makes him look happy. And he is the hero of our story, so we want a little turtle tortoise, sorry, to be a happy little candidate. Bring that around because he has a bit of a collar here. And we'll make his shell look I'm going to put a half line here and a half line and a, a line around the bottom of the shell and make it stick up a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to divide this now into three spaces and make each section look a little bit knobbly. little tail. Put it forward and put a little bit of the un inside shell around his leg there. And start to create little sections, keeping them the same width. Make a little knee. 
and create gorgeous foot give him some lovely toenails They look as if it's running as much as tortoise can run, as I said before. So we could do a curvy bit. We'll flick those little toenails up. And just like the hair, we're going to rub out those construction lines now so we have a turtle that'll be a tortoise. Can't be ready to paint. Give him a little under shell, underbelly shell. We have it, the hair and the tortoise, and the best bits yet to come. We're going to make a beautiful field of flowers. So now comes the fun bit. We get to create the field of flowers and butterflies and other beautiful things. It's one flower and they can change directions. We can have daisies. And the glasses.
And there you have it. The hare and the tortoise in a beautiful garden, ready for us to paint.